are the target of those who would trample the liberties of free men. You are in the crosshairs of the bomb site. An enemy is centering on you. You are a citizen of the free world, a citizen of the United States of America. Our president has told us that even against the most powerful defense, an aggressor in possession of an effective number of atomic bombs could cause hideous damage. Today, in the age of hydrogen weapons, evacuation from target areas is our best assurance of survival. But successful evacuation takes time. If there is insufficient warning of attack, no time for organized evacuation according to plan, then you and your family must protect yourselves. Wherever you are, take cover. Whether in a private home, in an apartment, or your place of business, or in a motor vehicle, take cover. Motorists should park cars to the side of the highway. A clear lane must be kept open for emergency vehicles, fire apparatus, ambulances, engineering equipment. Now, let's look at your home. Protect it at all times. If you have a basement, that is your best shelter against the outside wall closest to the probable point of detonation. Any high explosive force collapses the structure at its weakest point and may form a natural safe area. Outdoors, you can build an earth-covered shelter which affords the best protection against blast, fire, radiation, and radioactive fallout. Detailed plans for these and other types are clearly described in the FCDA manual, Home Shelters for Family Protection. Hey, Bert, come on out and meet all these nice people, please. Oh, all right. We really can't blame you. You see, Bert is a very, very careful fellow. When there's danger, this is the way he keeps from being hurt. Sometimes it even saves his life. That's why these children are practicing to duck and cover just as you do in your school. We all know the atomic bomb is very dangerous. Since it may be used against us, we must get ready for it, just as we are ready for many other dangers that are around us all the time. First, you have to know what happens when an atomic bomb explodes. You will know when it comes. We hope it never comes, but we must get ready. It looks something like this. There is a bright flash, brighter than the sun, brighter than anything you've ever seen. First, you duck, and then you cover. And very tightly, you cover the back of your neck and your face. Duck and cover underneath a table or desk or anything else close by. In Betty's school, they are talking about the atomic bomb too. Betty is asking her teacher, how can we tell when the atomic bomb may explode? And her teacher is explaining that there are two kinds of attack, with warning and without any warning. We think that most of the time we will be warned before the bomb explodes. So there will be time for us to get into our homes, schools, or some other safe place. You may be in your schoolyard playing when the signal comes. That signal means to stop whatever you are doing and get to the nearest safe place fast. Always remember, the flash of an atomic bomb can come at any time, no matter where you may be. You might be out playing at home when the warning comes. Then be sure to get into the house fast where your parents have fixed a safe place for you to go. If you are not close to home when you hear the warning, go to the nearest safe cover. Know where you are to go or ask an older person to help you. You know the places marked with the S sign? They're safe places to go when you hear the alarm. If there is a warning, you will hear it before the bomb explodes. But sometimes, and this is very, very important, 
sometimes the bomb might explode without any warning. Then the first thing we would know about it would be the flash. And that means duck and cover fast, wherever you are. There's no time to look around or wait. Be like Bert. When there is a flash, duck and cover and do it fast. Here are some older boys showing what to do if the flash comes when you are not in the classroom. This is what to do if you should be in a corridor. You duck and cover tight against the wall this way. You might be eating your lunch when the flash comes. Duck and cover under the table. It's a bomb. Duck and cover. Paul and Patty know what to do. Paul covered the back of his head so that he wouldn't be burned. And Patty covered herself with the coat she was carrying. They knew how to duck and cover. They acted right away when the flash came. Tony knows the bomb can explode any time of the year, day or night. He is ready for it. Duck and cover. We must know how to duck and cover in the school bus or in any other bus or streetcar. Duck and cover. Don't wait. Duck away from the windows fast. The glass may break and fly through the air and cut you. Sundays, holidays, vacation time, we must be ready every day, all the time, to do the right thing if the atomic bomb explodes. Duck and cover. This family knows what to do, just as your own family should. They know that even a thin cloth helps protect them. Even a newspaper can save you from a bad burn. But the most important thing of all is to duck and cover yourself, especially where your clothes do not cover you. No matter where we live, in the city or the country, we must be ready all the time for the atomic bomb. Duck and cover! Yes, we must all get ready now so we know how to save ourselves if the atomic bomb ever explodes near us. If you do not know just what to do, ask your teacher when this film is over. Discuss what you could do in different places if a bomb explodes. Older people will help us as they always do, but there might not be any grown-ups around when the bomb explodes. Then, you're on your own. Remember what to do, friends. Now tell me right out loud. What are you supposed to do when you see the flash? You will know what to do instantly to help ensure the survival of you, your family, your country.